zeroing the laser on the Onefinity CNC. The first thing we'll want to do is make sure we're on the latest firmware. Right now that's 1.0.9, but that will change with future firmware updates. Next, we're going to go to our flyout menu, go down to the tool tab, and we are going to select JTEC laser from the tool dropdown. On the tool enable mode, we're just going to leave that disabled. We'll click save and go back to our control page. Close our flyout menu. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to lower the Z so it's about an eighth of an inch above our material. And then we are going to use the set height tool that is provided with the JTEC laser to set the correct height. Now we're going to use the joypad off screen to lower the Z axis. You can see we just use the right stick to move the Z axis down. We can use the A and X buttons to set to a slow speed while using the joypad. Now we can slide our Z set height tool under the laser shroud and we're going to lower the laser so that the shroud just barely touches the set height tool. Once that's barely touching, we can remove the set height tool and now we can set our Z zero. With our Z axis now in the correct position, we will set zero for Z. And now we can jog our X and Y to the general location we want to zero them in. First, we'll jog using the joypad off screen just to demonstrate how we'll do that. We can adjust our speeds to raise it with the B and Y buttons. We can also jog the machine using the buttons on the touch screen or our computer. With the Z now zeroed and the X and Y in the general area that we want them, we're going to go to the MDI. Here we can manually enter G code. In this case, we're going to enter an M3 command ranging from M3S1 to M3S100. We want to use the lowest value possible that still fires the laser, but does not burn our material if possible. So we are going to start with M3 space S10 and we'll click play and we can see that the laser is firing so we're going to give it M5 to stop it now we are going to go down to M3 space S9 we're going to click play we can see that it's still firing so we'll give another M5 now we're going to move down to M3 3 space S8. We can click play once again. And we can see that it is not firing the laser, so we'll give an M5 command. That is too low to fire the laser, so we know that M3 S9 is the command that we need to fire our laser. Like we said, we want this to be as low power as possible so that it will not burn the wood, but that we are able to zero our laser. Now that we found our number, we can give that M3S9 command and we can jog our X and Y axes into the correct positions. With that laser shooting that beam, you can see it is very small, but we can see where the laser is hitting our material. It is not burning, and we're just going to follow that tiny little dot get it as close to our zero point as we possibly can. Then we're going to stop our command with an M5. Once our M5 is stopped, we can go over and now we can set zero for our X and our Y axes. Now that we have our zero values for all our X, Y, and Z set, we are ready to start our cut. Now we just come over here and we can start our file. This may take a while so we will speed this up and show you the finished product at the end.